Hello there, um, I'm Black Bright News and as you know I've recently done a video on being a narcissist, you know, um, living with a narcissist from a Christian perspective and how you manage that, how you stay with a narcissist if you've got um, Christian values. Now, for those of you who do not have Christian values and who have literally had it up to your eyeballs with one and you're looking for a way out, um, this is the exit strategy. So um, I'm going to let you know what that is. OK, first thing is everything should be done in secret. Um, no point blabbing off your mouth. It's like when you watch these videos and you hear the um, people, especially in Colombo, I'm going to tell the police that you A, B, C, D, I'm going to go and tell somebody that you did this to them. I'm going to tell this person that you committed fraud. You're setting yourself up to be damaged. So you don't say anything. Stum. Zip it. So only tell a trusted family member um, or a friend, somebody you trust, somebody who under pressure won't break down and tell your partner or your ex-partner where you are. Second thing, find alternative accommodation. If the person is living with you, the narcissist is living with you, or, you know, yes, if he's living with you, you're going to have to find somewhere else to live. And that means um, sometimes investing into a second property or room, even if it's temporarily, and it's going to be expensive, but... Is your peace of mind worth it? That is going to have to be an option. And this, of course, you could stay with someone. They're willing to put you up for a few months. Then that is even better. You put your stuff in storage and you're good to go. Um, take your bits and pieces. Once you know where you're going, um, you make sure you just take the things that you need, not the things you want. You want everything. You want to take everything with you. But no, you don't want to do that because not only will you raise suspicion if you're living with a person, but it's also not wise. Um, you need to be discreet. So you just take minimal stuff, just what you need, things that won't be, go look as though they've gone missing. Um, and yes, arrange the diversion of your mail. Some people forget about things like that. And then what happens is... Um, you need to, you need access to your mail and you can't get it. This reminds me, passwords and um, references. Make sure you have it either online, on cloud, or you have it in a name and address book, a hard copy name and address book. And they have these little books now that you can actually put your passwords and stuff in. You don't have to put your own passwords, but you put in, you know, triggers that is going to remind you what they are. Um what else? Um, yes, you need to tell the services um, that you've changed your address and what the disconnection date is. And then you tell your partner once you're out in the clear what the disconnection date is so that he or she knows. We have to be aware that both male and females are narcissists. And we also have to be aware that every single one of us have a, has a narcissistic trait. So just because you have a narcissistic trait doesn't mean you're a narcissist. Just because you see somebody who is self-absorbed and entitled and doesn't seem to appreciate you and takes you for granted, those kind of things, doesn't necessarily mean that you can't live with them. They're unlivable. It really depends on you, the individual. Can you tolerate it? That is the key. You know, it's to do with your tolerance levels, not the actual person. Um, uh, <clears throat> when you notify your bank, your hospital, or your local authority, make sure you put something on there that they can't give your information to anyone. Um, if you can afford to sell your car and buy a new one, do it. Because that um, narcissist once he knows you're gone or you're leaving, he will become obsessive or she will become obsessive and they will be hounding you and they will make all the promises of the world. They will tell you every single thing you want to hear to try to cajole you into staying. The thing is with um, most narcissists is that they're very manipulative. 
but they're manipulative and they want to get you on side for their benefit because you make them look good. And it's not about you. They couldn't give a toss about you, but they will make it about you for as long as they need to, while it means they're getting what they want. So when you're, that is why you don't say anything. You just keep quiet because they will convince you to stay. And some of them, it's not even like um, after a year or two, they'll just get fed up and leave you alone. I know somebody over 10 years still trying to get back, still trying to get in there, just still trying just to make a date. Let me just take you out for dinner. Let me just take you to the concert. Just let me see you once. I just want to talk to you. They'll do anything. So be aware. And that is why you need to block them off of your phone, block them from your email, block them from your social media. Because if you let them into your life, if you make them speak to you, they'll draw you in and you're back where you started. And you've gone through this whole exit strategy for nothing. And it can be quite an exit. It can be quite an expensive thing to do if you don't see it through and you go back again. Because at some point, the reason why you wanted to leave, you're going to want to leave again. So um, what else? Um, do, you don't rush. Have plenty of patience. Um, this is not a thing that you can rush anyway, because if you do, you're going to raise suspicion. You just need to behave normally. Um, when you have the your alternative accommodation, which is the key, um, you've got your services connected, the gas, the electricity, broadband, it's decorated, you've got it cleaned up. Just slowly move in the stuff that you need, not what you want. Let your workplace know that your ex might be inquiring about you and they mustn't give them any information about your shifts or anything like that. Um, ensure that your next of kin is not on any of your documents or not on your hospital records. If they are, make sure you get them removed. Make sure you have all your important documents, your passport, your birth certificate, all those things that you would you need because they're really important. Make sure you have them with you. Those are kind of things that you cannot leave behind. Uh, make sure you have all your passwords. I've said that. Uh, make sure you have your name and address book just in case um, you face confrontation and your phone is taken away or smashed or something. You still have those numbers. Avoid confrontation at all costs. It won't be pretty if he or she knows you're going to leave. They can't stand the embarrassment after they've told all their friends they've got this fantastic person and then the person is going to leave. They're not going to take it lightly. Um, be happy, loving, cooperative. Don't change who you are. If you've been nice, continue to be nice. Continue to make love to them. Continue to woo them and compliment them and praise them. Be loving. This is about you. This is not about them. You're not being deceitful. You're being true to who you are. But you're going to need to do what you need to do in order to be safe and to protect yourself. Um, yeah, that's what I've said. Um, yeah, if you're always moody and you're always in a bad mood, well, you can stay that way. But don't start getting miserable and upset and angry and frustrated if that's not, not who you are. And so, yeah, I think that is about it. It's not easy being with a narcissist, but like I said, we all have narcissistic traits. It's what, what you can tolerate. And, you know, you don't have to leave them. Like I said, you can always love them. You can always put them first, which is what the Bible ordains. Put other people before yourself and you can be this selfless person. So it doesn't mean that you have to... Um, be a horrible you don't have to get rid of them you don't have to um fall into the trap of thinking oh you know i'm with a narcissist this is the worst thing in the world it doesn't have to be if you exercise patience and kindness in some cases you can tolerate them like i said if they're obnoxious and they're controlling and they're manipulative and exploitative and they treat you like crap no your health comes first your peace of mind comes first. And that is why I devise this exit strategy for you to use in the most safest way possible. Always put yourself first and keep safe. Make sure you don't do anything that can put you in danger. And that's all I've got to say for now. 
Bye-bye. Wish you luck.